Do you understand that? Yes. How yeah. about who influenced you? Yeah. Yeah, what, who influenced you? Where did I get my different yeah. kind of thinking? Exactly. Yeah. My grandfather. Mm. He said to me, when I was a kid, very young, nine, ten years old, he said, Jock, people came from all over the world, and the language you speak was brought from Europe, from England, right here, America, and we speak butched English, you know, our own interpretation. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. So he said, people came all over the world, <coughs> they brought the printing press from Germany, they brought ideas. China used to have man-carrying kites a thousand years ago. So you can't say the Wright brothers were the first to fly if you don't know that. They weren't very good, but they guys got killed too. But anyway, the more you read on foreign countries, you'll see that America is comprised of all the mathematics, or the most of the good mathematics, came from ancient Egypt and Rome. And because a guy named Algebra, an Arab, gave us algebra. So my grandfather said, we owe the greatness of this country the contributions made by people that came from all over the world. So he said, the language, he gave me the evidence, you know. So I realized that. He said, Jock, if you pledge allegiance to any one country, you're negating all the other countries. Mm -hmm. So when the teacher said, all right, children, raise your right hand and pledge allegiance to the flag, I refused. And the teacher didn't ask me why. She grabbed me by the ear right to the principal's office. And the principal said to the teacher, you're excused. After she left, he put his arm around me. Then he said, why don't you want to play to the use of play? I said, because of the obligation and, and wonderful contributions of all nations, I decided to pledge allegiance to the earth and everyone on it. He said, well, that's very nice. He said, but what about America? Doesn't that mean anything to you? I said, it means that it's a, people came here from other countries and there were other people living here, called in Indians. And we bought Manhattan for a couple of pieces of objects which we gave the Indians and we gradually pushed the Indians back into the desert and took the most valuable land and put the Indians out on the desert. I said, I don't like that. So I don't think Americans are any better than anybody else. But the Indians had fought back. There were a lot of Indians that didn't accept being pushed around. So they came back with bow and arrows and shooting on soldiers. And so we put up a bulletin saying, for every Indian you kill, you get paid so much money. So the people used to hunt Indians, American soldiers and American people. And uh, one guy would go to the government office and say, I just killed 10 Indians. And the government said, how do we know that? Bring back a piece of the Indian. That's where scalping came from. Americans invented scalping, not the Indian. They scalped, bring back six scalps, you get paid for it. You understand? Yeah. Oh, I didn't like that. The book is called The New American History. If you really want my source. Mm -hmm. So, I didn't like all those things. And then I realized in books it said the sun never sets on England. Well, how did they get all that land? They, they weren't coming, here's some land for you. They took it. They shot, murdered, assassinated thousands of people to get that land. Were their intentions bad? No, they thought it was good for the British Empire. You know, no, nobody looks at themselves as bad. Exactly. You know, so I don't like any of that stuff. To me, I think that all people, if brought up with science and technology can learn how to relate to each other. Yeah, yeah. I don't believe they have to kill each other. But the army thinks in terms of defending what we got. Well, where did we get it? We took it. Somebody else wants to take it. So it's normal for any country deprived of water or resources to invade the nearest country that has those resources. That's normal to any hungry country. Do you understand that? Yeah, yes. It's natural.